What is going on guys? Grape here today. I want to make a quick video talking about sealed jewelry crafting writs. And now I'm hoping with all of the things that Zoss is wanting to do with quarter three and kind of just do updates, quality of life changes and things like that. In the future, if they continue to do this kind of idea where they want to look at the game and fix things that are already in game, this is one thing they look at just in general. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you hadn't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. When it comes to sealed jewelry crafting writs, I'm sure most of you are probably like I am. I, th I think everybody does some of the blue ones and really does not fool with a lot of the, you know, purple or, or gold quality uh, writs because they cost so much to do. Um, a lot of times I'll keep the blue ones, do those. They give a good bit of writ vouchers. You know, you're looking probably anywhere from 20 to 30 is about the roundabout average of writ vouchers you will get. And sometimes you can get, you know, higher quality uh, writs, but they're just really, really expensive. Now, I have had some gold ones in the past that offer upwards of, of three to almost 400 that are worth doing just for the amount of writ that you, uh, the, you know, the writ vouchers that you get. But at the same time, a lot of people feel like you got to have way too much gold in game to be able to do this, just considering the price that it costs to get the material if you do not have it. Now, if you play all the time and you have some really good drop chances, and you know everyone's chance is a little bit different, so able to seem to get more crafting materials from doing, you know, stuff in game than others. But if you're doing your survey, sometimes you'll have a good chance of getting you know, those higher level materials. But the one complaint has always been when it comes to getting those high level materials for jewelry crafting, uh, if you look at the dust for gold, of course, you're going to have to have 10 dust to get that one plate. So it still takes a, a good long while to do that. And a lot of people may not have the time to play and grind that out. So I'm hoping eventually they may look at the crafting writs overall and maybe do a, a rework of all of them. But when it comes to jewelry crafting, I really do think they need to definitely have a look at those and figure out a way to make them a little cheaper to do or, or you know, something where it takes less material, whatever the case could be. Because there's a lot of people that pretty much, like I said, they just delete them because you can't even really sell them. Uh, a lot of people won't even buy them uh, when it comes to, you know, the higher tier ones because you just do not want to spend the money to of course to purchase it and then all the money you will have to spend to actually be able to do the writ and a lot of people feel like these you like you can pretty much have to be a millionaire or billionaire in game and i do mean not just a couple million gold you know a hundred million gold something just insane to be able to do these and if you do that even with a lot of gold you're going to run out of gold pretty quickly doing a lot of these high tier crafting writs uh, when it comes to the jewelry side anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts what would you like to see change about the sealed jewelry crafting writs and do you even do them like i said the only ones i ever keep and do is really the blue ones the rest i pretty much just get rid of because no one really wants them and you're definitely not going to really have a a good chance of selling them very often of course leave me a comment with your thoughts and if you'd like to hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace